Hi, hello, welcome back to Monster Train. Hey, it's me, Cranberry. Hi. Um, if you are living in the United States, uh, happy Thanksgiving. If not, um, too bad. It's Thanksgiving for you too now. Congratulations, honorary Thanksgiving uh, celebrant. Uh, what are we doing here today? Nothing, nothing new, nothing different. Top in for another Monster Train run. Should be, should be cool. F this again. <laughs> no, I lied. It's not cool. Uh, we have Steel Enhancers though in the start, which is okay. A lot of cheap spells and, and then Crypt Builders. Should be, should be fun. Uh, I'll take a Cheater's Hand here too. That's pretty sweet. Um, chill Wind or Handheld? Give me the Chill Wind. Um... Actually, you know what? Fuck it. No children today. We're going. We're going. We're going handheld totem. We're we're flipping the script on this one, and we're gonna go. I don't know. I don't know where we're going, but we have we have crypt builder and uh, cheater's hand, so we should be able to uh, line up crypt builder with the boss. All we gotta do basically is just you know play middle floor. Tethys train steward, or maybe even bottom floor Tethys double train steward. We'll see how our opening hand looks. But this seems like it's a playable situation for uh, for some spell weakness. Looking at our start here, probably gonna go Merchant of Steel Awoken Banner and look for either a real buff Animus or like I don't know. We have Restorers, so like an Awoken Hollow is fine. Like, it shouldn't be too bad. I think we skipped the Divine Horde. Um. Okay. I think we try to play the unit draft here. This is going to be problematic. With the armor on these boys. Put this back. Mid floor, Crypt Builder past the turn. Need a train steward. There we go. Uh, put this back. We do this and then we take the collector here. Really put one train steward back on top here. Something like that looks pretty good. Restore up. You have three of these fuckers in front of you? What the hell? How'd you do that? Okay, well. Oh, I was supposed to put this crypt builder back on top. What am I doing, man? I'm losing my mind. Let's kill one of these. I am already throwing this run. A crit builder goes back on top. That's fine. Three hit. We're good, we're good, we're good. Do that and then it's crit build. It's fine, it's cool. Trial trial smile. Unnamed tome versus Seraph the Patient. You'd love to see it. Um I think a razor sharp here seems fine. Okay. So you got you got the offering monument. Um it exists. It is a unit here. We would we, we we could try to do the cycle of life infinite. We do need to see value stones and cycle of life, but it is an option. Um We could we could go Thorn Hollow again. We do have the restores here right off the bat. 
Oh, you're just thinking, you're just thinking. Um. Sure. Well, let's do it again. <laughs> Should be funny. Okay. Plus 25. Not bad. I mean, there is value still there, but we don't have Cycle of Life, so I don't feel bad about skipping the uh, monument. Look in here. That is a Husk Hermit. Would have preferred a Shattered Shell, because we could do like something weird, like a Shattered Shell, in, or, or ho Horned Hollow infused with a Shattered Shell and make it more like a defensive card. And use the Spike Slays to ramp it up as well. Um, I don't like Husk Hermit and Shattered Shell. It seems redundant to me. So I think... I believe we will be skipping here. We could try to make Animus of Speed as the carry work, but it's, it's just not a good play, I feel like, ever. So we're probably just going to go Merchant and Magic Stygian Banner and look for our carry unit over there. Um, the plus 25. We'll hang tight. We don't need we don't need the spike stone yet. We could look for just another plus 25 instead on the uh, thorn hollow. Um, I'll keep taking these marks of invasion. I am not afraid. We need one heal spell and we kill all of these basically for free. Okay, maybe next turn. Um, the crypt builder on top here, yeah. Oh, actually, no, Tethys Teth 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 kills backline for us right now. That's fine. Nothing leaks here. Would love to heal this guy, though. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you, Collector. You think you're so cool. Should've played Tome first. Better late than never. Oh, I got better late than never there. That's definitely a mistake. that here maybe pitch this honestly I'd rather just razor sharp this out of the way here I think oh that's that is a close victory but a victory nonetheless okay say what you want about thorned hollow it's still pretty good in the early game as long as you have restores pretty sick still um, I don't want any more of these cards. I'll take a sappy. We have potential to go big sap here for sure. Um, what's in our banner? Okay, okay, now we have some direction. Now we have an idea of what we're doing. We've got the eel gorgon. Wind condition confirmed. Um, let's see. Razor Sharp, pretty good on an Eel Gorgon. We need to give it some better health, but that should be solid. Um, you know what? Let's get the Divine Horde here. It could be something cool, right? I would consider that pretty cool. Um,. Honestly, just pump up the restores here. They're all they're only healing right now. Seems like it's not a bad choice. And we could remove consume wildwood sap and then re-roll cost down it. So it's a it's a it's, like it's an always there card, which is not bad value. It would be really nice if we did that, and then we hit the uh, 
The times five in the temple. I, you know, it's, it's an unorthodox play. Let's see if it pays off here. Double stack, cool. Probably would have preferred that, in theory, but here we are. Times five? Spent all our dang money on this? No, no times five. However, we can lose 25 Pyre HP for 150 coins. Honestly, I think it's kind of worth it here. I know it's like really risky, we go to eight HP. We're not gonna leak much in this upcoming fight though, I feel like. Um, so I think we can take it. One thing I'm worried about is the um, sweep, the, the big sweepers potentially. Killing our uh, killing our eel gorgons. We gotta be we gotta be cognizant of that as a possibility. Um, no no pushback. I I decline. Sorry, Tap. This today is not your run. Maybe we should have done Frozen Lens, actually, yeah. Not that it matters too much, but... That's a, that's a good draw. You do enjoy seeing that. Gotta keep in mind here, actually, that the... right We need to get some, like, buffs on this boy, otherwise he does, like, no damage. What the hell is this turn? Push this back to later. We do enjoy seeing that. Getting getting some X's. There's Razor Sharp. Keep pushing back Crypt Builder for now. Everyone there dies good. Probably play Crypt Builder this turn. And like this into this, I think is fine. And then we just gotta in can as much as we can here. We already win. Okay, cool. This feels like we're in a pretty good spot here. Just gotta go to a steel shop and get some upgrades for the Gorgon, and we are A OK. -okay. I imagine us at some point finding a large stone for the Gorgon, so I kind of like taking the space upgrade now. And then if we don't see large stone, we can just put taps on the floor, and it's like also okay. Um, could go, could try to channel song Gorgon, but that's just kind of a little too cutesy. I feel like gifts for a guard actually pretty solid in this deck because we don't care too much about any specific spells, but we will eventually care about a holdover on Razor Sharp and also these Steel Singers or Steel Enhancers, so. Not the biggest fan of gifts, but it's, it's definitely okay. I don't think we take it though. I don't know. I, I think I think things like Razor Sharp will be too critical, and if we end up hitting them with gifts, it's going to be very unfortunate. Well, a lot of times we're just not playing gifts for a guard. But then we just want to skip it. Um. I mean, Awoken Hollow is basically. Uh, Woken Hollow is basically the uh, large stone. Not literally, it's obviously less health. Oh man, maybe, maybe we don't want any of these as an infusion. They're all kind of stinky as an infusion on the Animus. You know, we could actually, you know what we could do? It's it's a bit of a silly play, I feel like, but it might work. We can go Awoken Hollow infusion onto... Thorned Hollow, and take the space upgrade and keep and keep the Eel Gorgon as a two space unit, and then just pump HP into the Oaken Hollow, which will then buff our Eel Gorgon. That I think is a play we can get behind here. 
I'll take the space upgrade. I like where this is going right now. This seems kind of fun. Um, we're gonna go right side. Definitely a hundred. We have, you know, we have we have pirates in house. We need to go to steel shops here, for sure. Okay, game. Little BM. Little BM. Gotta say, but you know what? No big deal. Um, we'll take the, the spikes onto the Thorn Hollow here now, I think. I have three slots. I think it's okay. Battlestone here. You do that. Come over here and you just go, hey, what if we did an infusion real quick? Awoken. Into Thorny. The classic, the classic hollow fusion dance here. They've become Gogeta. Um. I like these, but I don't like, I do not like dropping to over 50 shards here. I feel like, uh, that's asking for Party Boy to come in and just stomp us. But I kind of want to just leave, I think, right now. And take these temple upgrades instead. I know it's cowardice. You know what? It is cowardice. But like we don't get that much out of like value stone crypt builder here, I feel like. Or true stone crypt builder. It's not that big of a get for us. But I don't I just don't want to do it. Um We'll take Conduit Tethys. It is a card that exists. I do not like it though. Um Spell shield too. We do have some spells. We do not care about their damage too much though. Honestly, I think we can take it. I think this is a fine trade-off. Put that as middle floor. Catch potential collectors. Dude, you gotta love how Eelgorgon loses that Ember Drain. It's very sick. Let's put this on top. Everyone dies. Hooray. Uh, well, we don't kill the Clip Guardian, but we get a pretty good chunk down on him. Keep keep putting crypt builders away. Okay. I think we're okay here. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Going. Shouldn't have even done that. Not much point there. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta imagine, but whatever. We're fine. Look at that, that easy, easy bake dub right there. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I feel like Frenzy Swarm's not that good for us because we want the spikes to be killing backline. Ice Storm seems like a pretty good pickup for us. Reserve Thorns, great pickup for us, like amazing. Maybe the single best Awoken card we could have gotten there, basically. Right side, easy, easy side to go to here. Petrified Crucible, okay, now we're now we're cooking. Now we are cooking. Let's get some train stewards the fuck out of here. Let's go to the steel shop. Um I feel like Gorgon's got the HP now. So we can just put an attack on here and be pretty happy with it. I think that's fine. I will remove the other train stewards. And we will continue on our merry way here. Seek stone, twin stone. 
Um, let's look here. Uh, I want razor sharp edge held over. I think Seekstone's pretty good on this tome just to really mess Seraph, uh, Seraph the patient up first round. I think that's okay. If we're gonna Twinstone anything, I kind of like the Twinstone Preserve Thorns. We can give it a cost down later and it's gonna be sick. That feels pretty strong. Just putting, I just want to put six spi uh, stings in our deck basically. This is like a pretty good way to do it. Go to, a, go to a spell shop ASAP to lower the cost of that. Non-boss enemy units get plus six attack. Gain 150 gold. That might be too much damage for us to, ah, no, we can handle it, I'm sure. We should be fine. I am not worried about how strong our enemies are. Put this in. Honestly, don't even play tap this. You're just feeding the, the harvesters here. Shit, uh, you know what? Hold on. One thing real quick. One thing real quick just to not look like a dummy because I know better. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Put this back. You play Ilgorgon first. That way the Ember Drain falls off. Don't be silly. Okay. Um, take that, thank you very much. Seems fine. Enjoy your armor, coward. Can I, can I go for a second? Okay, cool. Um, I'll always put your Crypt Builder back here. That seems fine to me. There's a lot of damage incoming. Probably want to heal. And heal. And maybe, like, do Preserve Thorns here to sting these boys down. Save Tome for a better turn. Probably this wave would be my guess. We'll see. These crit, we're just never playing these crit builders, dude. They're too expensive, man. Uh, start softening these boys up. Just too expensive. At least the Eelgorgon is putting some numbers down. Okay. Tap, that's perfect timing. It's actually not that bad, though. We do get the hit you for some spell damage. We already we already went without playing any incants, actually, which is wild to me. Hey, why are my spells not making any sounds? By the way, oh, excuse me, game. What happened here? What did I What did I do? What did I break? Anyway. Honestly, I'll take the second unnamed tome. It's a zero cost spell. In this deck, that seems pretty good. Um, I like Rail Spike here, I think. Okay, Steel Shop's now dead to us. Removals, we got rid of all of our train stewards, so that's also not, that, not very good. I'll just go left side. Overstack upgrade potential. Making our spells better potential. Potential all around over here on this side of the uh, of the lane. Um, I don't know, get a frozen lands buff. 
freeze stone. Don't hate it on like a rail spike here, but I think we're just gonna snap it off whenever we, whenever we draw it, basically. Um. Search so running frozen lances. Could you play Remove Consume and then Ember Stone on Rail Spike and have that be good? I mean, like, here's like the thing, right? Aside from the Crypt Builders, which I don't, I don't even like the Crypt Builders anyway, but aside from them, our entire deck does get hit by uh, Awoken Rail Spike. Like, every, every single spell in here is one or less, then. Which seems good. We want to play multiple rail spikes. We're, we're casting it for three, and then we're just drawing three cards and playing them. I guess with like dead weights in the deck and stuff, it kind of makes it an issue. Maybe not then. Maybe we just want to get one one good hit off of rail spike and then be done with it. Anyway, what's going on in the cavern? Oh, you know what? Love me an overstack here, Eel Gorgon. Having a great time. <coughs> Moving on to Fell. Our healing is low. I, I don't want to say that a uh, Unleash the Wildwood is a win, because it definitely isn't just a straight up win, but it would be really nice. Would be nice for sure. Okay. Remember the sequencing. The sequencing is very important here. Honestly, we should probably play these bottom. I'm looking at it now. You know what? I changed my mind. Yeah. Seeing, seeing how we're against the, the curse combat, I want to play bottom floor to prevent curses from happening. We don't need a lot of time to ramp up here anyway, I feel like. This down. FS comes here and looks pretty. We know what we're drawing with Rail Spike, it's the, uh, the what's it called? The thing whose name I forget. That, that's not good. The, uh, hammer. But no thank you. Keep pitching this for now. We love going just absolutely sting crazy here. We had a good chance to chip in for some damage with these tomes. I think we kind of take it here. Couple extra hits. I don't want to keep pushing the penance because eventually it's gonna, you know, bite us in the ass here. Okay, that worked well enough. Okay, game. I see how we're playing this one now. Okay, well. I should have put Restore back. I miscounted my, my mana this turn. How's this Relentless looking? Already pretty good. We're about to just absolutely pound this man. Yeah. Good turn. I think we want card draw here over stings. I think we want card draw. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> you motherfucker. We could've, I mean, we could. We, we don't know if we could've, but we could've done the infinite. 
Uh, I'll take Ice and Pyre here. Just a good spell, obviously. Card draw. Also an easy pickup. No spell shop here. Weird. I thought we, you know, we would have had one. Could go Temple. You had t plenty of money to spend in the Merchant of Trinkets, but I kind of like going left side here. Maybe we even just duplicate this Preserve Thorns at this point. Yeah, I like I like I like the duplication here. I'm pretty sure. We got some strong spells. Light's Gift plus Eel Gorgon does probably just make this run an easy win. Even though now I know we have the Thorned Hollow here, right? The spikes are pretty good, but we don't need the spikes. Is the thing, in my opinion. Light's Gift should just make this pretty easy. I feel like. Um. So yeah, we'll take that. And then we just go all in on like on maybe oh hold on first off let's use in the temple here because we see like a twin stone in here value stone okay um changes the arithmetic a little bit I was gonna say I was gonna say we can just uh, duplicate razor sharp edge here and just go for like all out aggression on the uh, on the eel gorgon here however. We could just dupe that rail spike. It's a pretty big, it's a pretty big, like, play as far as encanting a lot. Um. I don't know. How are we doing shard count wise here? We need, we have a horde at the end. Also, like, preserve thorns is pretty sick too. There's a lot of card draw if we play that, that preserve thorns. If you have more of them, it's more card draw. Yeah, I'm kind of in on Preserve Thorns, I think, here. Like, we don't care about what spells we're playing, we just want to play as many spells as possible. So that seems that seems correct to me. Pethys, I'm sorry, you just don't belong on this run. It's not you, it's me, but it's really it's you. Um, Heaven Seal, does anything serve? Like, no, we, we can take Heaven Seal here. Nothing survives the top floor right now, I feel like. Like, I, I, we're, 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 we're lights gifting, so we're just going full incant. And Gorgon's gonna slice and dice people up, I feel like, so. Um. Put this down. <coughs> I don't want Tethys getting Ember Drained, so we'll play it like that for now. Oh yeah, we're go we're going we're going poggy woggy. <laughs> Guess we're not like we don't we don't have any actual incant scaling, so I shouldn't be just like entirely mindlessly playing spells. But, um, stop me. Try and stop me. See what happens. Um, Steel Enhancer, Preserve Thorns. Did she just heal? You guys just preserve thorns and, like, I don't know, thorn. Born this way because it's got a lot of health to make sure we definitely kill it. Just keep pushing the crypt builders away. We don't need them. Hmm. Doesn't matter too much. Like, these guys won't survive. Boop, boop, boop. Storm, frick you, Crypt Builder. Everyone here dies. We'll do the heals here for re Rejuvenate. That there, pass the turn. Yeah, Light, Light's Gift makes us feel pretty easy. It, it does sort of make the Thorns part of our Thorn Hollow worthless, but like, you know. Who needs who needs Thorns when you're just straight up unkillable, right? Like, 
It's not rocket science, I guess. Um, pitch this, I guess. Digging heals. That down there. There's that, you know, should respect this wave. It's a lot of health. A lot of health coming top floor right now. One. We can play this whole hand, so we'll just put dead weight up top here. Top here. This man does hit pretty hard. Um, hate, hate the noises he's making, by the way. He's making some god awful noises there. I don't think Urchin Spines is that good here. It is a zero cost spell, but we're doing pretty good on, on spells, I feel like. Um, focus Growth, sure. Why not? Did we go left side here? Why do we have so much money? Damn, dude, we have so much. Like, we have no relics that make money. We just took all the money, I feel like. And then just didn't spend much of it. Dang. Uh, duplication is definitely tempting here, but I think we're we're pretty much just solid right now with what we got. I think we just go left here, just take the artifact and be happy with what we. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I, I think that's good. Lowering the cost of spells and stuff seems pretty good. Hold over would just be like game over. I feel like at this point too. The hell pack does buff the rail spike. It's the only card of bust, but we, we are rich. So that seems okay. Titan's Claw. We have Permafrost in the shop here? We do. In that case, kind of like, I don't even like Grave Builder. I like per Permafrost Focus Growth, and then just uh, taking that here, taking this here, rolling. One casing's fine. Not amazing, but it's not bad. Um. Something like this seems okay. Roll it. A lot, a lot of remove consume stones this game, huh? What's going on with that? Should have, been put, should have been putting these on crit builders, honestly, to begin with. Just don't like seeing them. Do not like seeing them here. I guess we make Ice Empire zero cost it, I guess. I don't know. Take our free relic. Maybe we should have opened this first, huh? Uh... I guess I'll take Boon of the Blacksmith. Not super interested in it, I gotta say, but I think it's fine. I suppose. Put Steel Enhancer on top. We'll play on the, uh, the boy next turn. Definitely hitting you with the tome. Peppa's face, face, face your, your dem demise. Um, I don't know, we'll put this here too. Kill the light wings. Gorgon comes down. A lot of damage on this thorn to Hollow here. I do not like that. Honestly, we might be kind of bent here. Hold on. He 
She's coming up to hit us for like 60 damage this round. Only, only, only 50 damage, I guess. Um, or 75? Yeah, 75. Uh, focus growth though, luckily gonna maybe save us here. It's cool. You do, you do like to see that. And honestly, we could preserve Thronchi, but then we just restore. <laughs> we just try to heal. One of these here. Um, draw nine off of this. Well, in that case. Like that, maybe. Draw eight. Yeah, it looks better. We need, to, we need to dig for healing. I'll play that for fun, I guess. My man here is just dead, huh? Shit. Um... I don't think Eelgorgon wins the 1v1 against Seraph here. We'll see. Oh, and, oh, the melee weakness falls off, so that's not a big deal, I suppose. Damn. I didn't think Seraph would mess up. I guess we just didn't have enough healing for Seraph. I don't think it would mess us up this badly. Regen quick. We're all dead. We gotta we gotta whittle down your wave here too if we can. One more spell up here. Whatever. Thank you, Ice Storm. We wanted a single hit on the Shade Wings, so that's fine. Dies okay. Hmm. Damn, yeah, it's not enough. I guess we have to try to play this differently then? I don't know what to do though. How do we how do we survive this? There's gotta be a line here. Hmm. Um uh, Ooh, I have an idea. And I think it's not good. But I have an idea that I wanna try. Let's put this back on top, I guess, for now. What if we play... Gonna seem weird. But what if we play Eelgorgon in front? The reason being that Melee Weakness will fall off of Eelgorgon every turn, so we won't get that double-stacked uh, Melee Weakness issue. That might... I feel like that might work. 
Let's see how it plays out here. This is a bit this is a bit wild. I feel like. We need to get Ilgorgon's health high enough so it can take a, a 50 damage hit still. I don't think it's gonna happen here. I have a new new plan. I think it's bad. Let me think. No, I don't know what to do. Damn. I don't know what to do here. We, we just can't seem to heal. Oh, I have an uh, I have ideas, but I think they're all bad. Oh, you know what? I have, I have okay. New promise. Last time, new idea. We're, we're, before we killed Tethys. This time we do the exact same play, but we save Tethys, and Tethys will take a Seraph hit for us at the end, and I believe that'll be enough to get us the win. Okay. Tethys, you, you can stay for now, I suppose, but we don't want you here. The Thorn Hollow, we do not play out the Tethys. Tethys is actually going to be our ace in the hole here, which is incredible. Look at that for now, should be fine. This on top, we need that heal later. I guess we say things like a gnome tome for when we have higher attack too. I think I think this line will work. Without a doubt, the weirdest line I think I've played in a long time. But I think this will, will this will do it. And like, who knows, maybe, maybe things will go differently this time. Maybe we will be able to keep uh, our boy alive here somehow. Again, Tethys, nice to see you. No heals at all in the draw. I think that's more or less the same thing happened last time, which was unfortunate. In there. My man, my man does just die here. There is no way to save you, I think. Cannot be done. Take our rejuvenate triggers while we can get them. Feels 
as good a turn as any to, to hit him with the unnamed tome here. Get an extra 60 damage on the boss. Okay, there's Tethys. Tethys now chumps a single hit versus the Seraph. I think that should be enough damage, I'm hoping. We'll see. Um, honestly, get Crypt Builder out of this deck, too, while we're here. Okay. Um. Ugh. Fine. Take off the Gilded Wings here as much as you can. Same concept as before, basically. Ice Storm fucked us here last time. Maybe it won't this time, we'll see. Put that on top because it's a good spell and pretty relentless. But let's... Make sure they're definitely dead up here. Good. Yeah, I remember that being more or less the same. <laughs> okay. Put this away. You get to heal you, which is nice. Oh my god, <laughs> that works. Say what you want about Tethys. The beautiful bastard did it though. Tethys saved us. The, the most extreme Mr. President get down moment I've ever seen in Monster Train. Okay, let's, uh, let's move on here. That was like one damage extra over lethal. That, was, that might have been the last hit. He had 75 health and he attacked at 76 damage. That might have been the last hit in the multi-strike sequence, too. That's... that's... silly. Um... I think, by the way, this is gonna be a lot easier since we can actually use the Awoken Hollow like a normal... a normal human deck. That's good. Um... Tethys, you know, you did a great job before. <laughs> Again, it is time to Mr. President get down. It's the, uh, it's the Rick and Morty toast robot meme. You know, like, what, what, what is your one purpose? <laughs> you take hits from my units? I guess there he was taking an Ember Dream, but still same idea. Um, this, this turn's not great, but whatever. Well, Biggie. Go Eel Gorgon. You draw seven dang cards with one energy. That's incredible. Good sequence of cards to hit there for sure. Save unnamed tome for later. Do need to heal Eelgorgon eventually is taking these sweep hits, but for now, not a, not a huge concern. Keep stinging. 
I think we do this, and then we'll play we'll play focus growth on the yield organ next turn, I think. When it costs zero. That seems like it'll be good. Um Three energy. I guess we just pitch this because everything else in here is free. Um, put that here to top off. Here's to kill. Oh, I should have unnamed Tome here first. That's my bad. Okay, everyone dies. Cool. You're taking 30 damage from spikes? What the hell, man? Yo, Gorgon, what the fuck happened, man? Yeah, I think it's fine still, but what the fuck, dude? Uh, once again, we can play Crypt Builder pretty easily here, I feel like, so... We will do just that. Love seeing that focus growth again to top off our yield organ one more time. No? Okay, that's fine. It's cool. Like, not even a real a big deal or anything, really. It's fine. Um, we just give it to here now just to make sure he doesn't, you know, get killed. Uh, up. Up. Okay. All healing goes to Eelgorgon, I think, at this point. There we go. Um, except for Sap. Sap does not go to Eelgorgon. Sap still goes to uh, Thornhollow because it falls off of Eelgorgon. It's just, just kind of worthless there. Hey, we'll put this here, too. Like, Restorers can go on Thornhollow because they're just giving you plus two health anyway for the Rejuvenate trigger. So, like, it's the same thing. Okay. I can play all these with Deadweight. You get to go away, I guess? And man, Sarah was such a, a way harder fight. What the heck, game? Everyone dies! Literally rocks fall, everyone dies. How poetic. I ain't even playing any spells. That's, be that's a beautiful thing. Um, thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, you know... Obviously, we could have played better. We had to restart in the Seraph fight, but I just don't have the foresight to realize we need to save Tepest to chump block at the end there because Thorn Hollow is going to die to the Seraph the Patient. That's my bad for sure. Um, but I had fun with the run. Hopefully, you enjoyed it too. Thanks for watching. Let me give you the seed, and I hope to see you next time. Um, nervous, ner nervous listening hazards. Goodbye. Happy Thanksgiving, too, if you're, again, if you're celebrating.